so here's my vlog of shopping at joanne fabrics so this is a craft store in the u.s and they have a ton of fabric things which i didn't really look at i just stuck to slime supplies and supplies you wouldn't even think are for slime but do work so first off i believe this was like the filler beads section and i was just looking for any cool supplies they had there that i could add into slime and it's super colorful so many different things but again as i usually say be careful with what you want to put in your slime make sure it isn't sharp etc you know you want to make sure it's smooth and nice on the hands here are a couple molds I was looking at. These were for resin, or they're actually made for um, baking and things, but I would use it for resin. And I didn't really see any that I loved, so I didn't get them. But they did have a lot of unique silicone molds here. So if you are into resin, resin <laughs> I would really recommend checking out Joann's. They have some really cool molds and different shapes of awesome things. So they have some really cool molds here is what I'm trying to say. And I almost got this circular one because it's shiny on the inside and you know if you do resin you want those shiny molds. But I didn't end up getting it. So here were some Easter ones and then I found this different brand of fake snow. It's Crazy Snow which I am really excited to try out and see if it works. Because right now I use Instant Snow and Snow Wonder I believe. Yeah those are the two ones I use so if this one works I'll have another brand of fake snow to use. I just wanted to show you these pearl pigments. They're called Perfect Pearls, and I've used them in slime before. They do work, and I just thought I would share that with you guys. If you are uh, local and can't order um, pigments online, then these Perfect Pearls do work to make pearlescent slime. I also saw those bath bomb kits. They had so many acrylic paints here. I walked down the whole entire wall of it. it there was so many here and i was like wow this is a lot of different paints but i guess it has all your different painting needs so there's tons of different brands of acrylic paints and there's tons of puffy paints as well or fabric fabric paints if i can talk and get the words out but there are tons of different fabric paints as well because joanne fabrics or i wonder if it's still called joanne fabrics or if it's just joanne's now but Anyways, I'm getting off topic. These are used to make squishies to decorate them. And I know a lot of you who like slime like squishies as well. There was this little pouch that I was thinking of getting to decorate, but I figured I could probably find it in Canada. And then I was checking out this section, which is like the fillers section of what you fill bags, like um, pillows, not bags, <laughs> what you fill pillows and cushions with. And you could use that stuff to make squishies. And then I was looking for foam beads for slime. And they did have the micro beads as well as those marshmallow sized beads, which was awesome. And I really wish I could buy those marshmallow beads because I've been trying to find them everywhere in Canada. If any other Canadians are watching, let me know where you find your marshmallow beads because I would love to know because I couldn't take this huge bag back with me obviously but uh, I'm always on the lookout for interesting shaped beads and then they had some glue wall here was the candle making section I like to look at the different scents there and then they had some pre-made slimes that I grabbed and put in my cart because I was curious to see what they would be like so I grabbed a couple of those and decided to try them out because I always like to try and make cool Insta Instagram videos. They had tons of buttons here and I love to look at the buttons to see if there are any interesting characters or charms because I do use these as slime charms. They have the little button backing at the back but you can easily break that off or I just leave them on usually and you don't even see them when it's in the slime because that's facing the back. So I like using these charms because I don't have to order them online and you can just find them easily. They can be a bit pricey, but I love them. I think they're so fun and so unique and different. So I got a couple packs of these and if you want to see exactly what I bought, I will have my haul from Joann's going up next week so you can see exactly the ones I picked out and then I just went down this next aisle there were some perler beads which you can also use in slime to make it chunky and different things so that's an option as well 
and then there were more slime kits and slime and different add-ins and kinetic sand. There was tons of different things in this aisle that were really interesting. Don't recommend adding play-doh to slime though, that always melts it. And up there, there were some little slimes and silly putty, galaxy gunk, metallic mush. Those are some interesting names. And there was this elastic putty, elastic putty. And that's a type of slime that someone has made. And this Da Vinci, it was intriguing to me. I wonder what it would be like if you added it to slime. I wonder if anyone's done that. If you have, let me know. I love adding tons of different things to slime, but I don't think I bought the Da Vinci when I was there. Maybe I'll get some when I'm back in Canada. Would you guys like to see that? So here are some Crayola products that were there. There's tons of markers and different things, uh, just what you would expect. And then there was this cool orb molecule type thing that looks really intriguing. And then there were a bunch of pom-poms, tons and tons of pom-poms, but none that I was looking for, unfortunately. They had tons of glitters and sequins and different things as well. And they had some squishies, polymer clay of course. You can use polymer clay to make charms for slime if you want to, or just charms in general. It's super fun to make different things with polymer clay. I did that before I made slime actually. It was another one of my many hobbies, I guess. I also made squishies before too. I had tons of different crafts I liked doing. These are some cu cups for uh, resin, and this was some glues that they had. I have them in Canada as well. So yeah, and then they had these fizz things, and they had these really pretty brushes that would be so fun for some slime brush brushing videos type thing that with the pigment, it looks so pretty. And that was everything that I got. So if you want to learn how to make slime, I have my slime recipe book, Ultimate Slime. The link will be down below if you would like to purchase it and learn to make tons and tons of different slimes. Thank you all so much for watching. Keep creating and I will see you all next time.